Trading foreign exchange on margin carries a high level of risk and may not be suitable for all investors. The high degree of leverage can work against you. And before deciding to invest in foreign exchange, you should carefully consider your investment objectives, level of experience, and risk appetite. The possibility exists that you could sustain a loss of some or all of your initial investment, and therefore you should not invest money that you cannot afford to lose. You should be aware of all the risks associated with foreign exchange trading and seek advice from an independent financial advisor if you have any doubts. Hi, I'm Rob Booker. It is Sunday, October 16th, 2011, and you are at the Boss Later webinar. We have a great webinar planned for you this evening. Number one, we will talk about the Australian dollar, U.S. dollar. We'll do an update on the counter trend trade coming up on that pair. Scott, do I hear you now? I thought I heard Scott. We'll have an update on one trend trade with the trifecta methodology for trend trading. We'll talk about the upcoming radar screen for MetaTrader 4, a preview of a brand new course that is available to you at no charge as part of your membership in the Boss Later course, an entire redo of the entire Boss Later course on a webinar series, and uh, also announce some live chat stuff that we're going to do together. Let's kick things off tonight with a view of the Australian dollar, US dollar. If you're looking at the radar screen at any time recently, you will have noticed that the one minute Australian dollar, US dollar is reaching a reading on the boss of 983 and the five minute is reaching a reading of 814. Tonight I'd like to spend a few moments with you and just talk about ways to counter trend a currency pair that is producing these high oscillator readings. Right now on the one minute chart, the Australian dollar, US dollar is only 27 pips away from the 800 period simple moving average. It has been away for the, from the 800 for 886 bars on the MetaTrader version of the boss later and 983 on the web version. That is because the live quote feed that generates the web version of the boss later is from GFT and the chart that I'm looking at right now on the screen in front of you is an FXCM MetaTrader screen and the position of the 800 period simple moving average is different on every broker's charts because the Sunday gap is different, the time that they open on Sunday is different, and that over time throws off a lot. And also quotes are different, so the closing price is slightly different over time, and that will throw off the boss later reading. It will be similar enough that you can simply use the boss later reading from the web-based version or from your own charts, but don't use both. Just use one or the other and you'll be fine. The Australian dollar, US dollar on the five minute chart has been away from anywhere between 800 and 900 on the five minute chart. And this is where I want to concentrate our attention tonight. We have a lot of room down to the 800 period simple moving average on this Australian dollar chart. This is an exceptional opportunity on the boss later. And tonight I want to talk a little bit about how someone might go about the process of trading down to the 800 period simple moving average. I can draw a trend line on the Australian dollar, US dollar five minute chart straight across the underneath, the underneath, the lower part of the candles right here on the five minute chart and set up a nice trend line trade right here, right now on the Australian dollar. If it closes and breaks below that trend line, that could be a sell trade with a stop loss above the recent highs on this pair and a profit target all the way down at the 800 period simple moving average. The risk to reward ratio on this trade is exceptionally good. The stop loss is close. The profit target is far away. It is right now exactly the type of trade that I look for. It is exactly the type of trade that is my favorite kind of boss later trade. And if you spend any time counter trend trading, this would be something that I would encourage you to take a look at definitely. You could alternatively use any other method that we have discussed in the course of the boss leader training. We could draw a horizontal level of support underneath the candles at 0283. That's a recent level of support. And we could sell below that level. 
we could look for divergence. We could look for higher highs on price and lower highs on an oscillator. That would be another way of producing divergence, excuse me, of producing a sell trade on the Australian dollar, US dollar, all of which have a tight stop loss and a somewhat large profit target. If you are joining us now and wondering about the Australian dollar, US dollar, and have questions about this trade or comments about this trade, I encourage you to post those questions or comments right now and let me know what's on your mind and what you're thinking. This is an exceptional reading on the boss later. It may not be done with its trend just quite yet, and that's why we wait for the currency pair to produce some kind of entry, a divergence, a break of support, a break of a trend line, or it could move overbought on the five minute chart and then roll over on the regular stochastic. We could choose any of those as options for entering a sell trade on the Australian dollar based on the boss leader reading that we have right now. Doesn't look like we have any new questions that have popped up so far. Scott, if you've got anything to add and you're still here in the webinar and you can type in any questions or comments or thoughts that you have about the Australian dollar right now, it's my favorite currency pair right now on the boss leader reading, especially for short-term counter-trend trading. If you're joining us and you don't look at the Australian dollar, but there's another currency pair that you prefer, I'd like to offer uh, you to take a moment right now and let us know what currency pair you're looking at, what currency pair you'd like me to take a look at, and we'll do a boss later reading on that currency pair right now. I'll just take the first or second one that pops up. Greg asks if I would move to another time frame to look for a longer trade. Yes, I would, I would switch time frames to look for a longer trade. If I were a longer term trader, I would perhaps look at the one hour or the 15 minute charts, which as of right now are not producing any trade on the Australian dollar per se, but could produce a trade on another currency pair uh, instead. So if you're looking at any other currency pairs, tell us what currency pairs you're looking at. I'd love to take a moment tonight and spend some time looking at your favorite currency pair and, and give you an answer. Neil would say, would I consider it a divergence with a double top on price and declining peaks on the oscillator? Yes, Neil, I'd call that class B divergence or second tier divergence. A divergence that would be acceptable but would not necessarily be prime divergence or a divergence that would be optimal for me. Neil, when I look at divergence in general, and I generally look at standard Wallaby divergence, which you can read about in the Wallaby Trade book. You can get a copy of that for free on piptoring.com. When I look at divergence, I typically like to see divergence across, and this is a great example of what I like, even though it's not a trade that worked out. I like to see divergence over about 30 candles, regardless of the time frame. And I like to see a slope of about 45 degrees. That Just those two things alone are elements of divergence that I really like and uh, that I prefer. The boss later teaches us that just any old divergence that pops up in the middle of a trend really isn't worth trading. We don't necessarily get excited about all kinds of divergence. But when the boss later reading becomes excessive, then we turn it on. So we would, for instance, avoid this divergence right here altogether because the boss later reading would not be appropriate and would, would not be ready. And that's what provides context for these types of trades. Any type of entry or exit system without some context, I think, misses something very important. And that something that's very important is, should I be turning on a counter trend system or not right now? Should I be trading against this massive trend? And the answer is, at that moment, no. In fact, in that instance of looking at divergence, we might actually trade against the divergence. We might actually take the opposite trade as the divergence would tell us to take simply because we're looking at a boss later reading that shows trend strength rather than trend weakness. Robert says, what about the Euro Yen? Robert, thank you for suggesting we take a look at the Euro Yen. Let's look at the Euro Yen on the web-based radar screen. We can see that it's got a reading of 978 on the one minute chart. And my attention is immediately drawn to that. Let's take a look at the one minute chart on the Euro Yen. We'll go top to bottom on this currency pair and take a look at it one time frame chart at a time. 
My charts are switching over to the Euro Yen right now. Right now you can see that this has got an excessive reading on the boss letter, 888 on my MetaTrader charts and something higher than that on the web-based radar screen. You can see here that on the one minute chart just recently, Robert, it did produce divergence. Higher highs on price, lower highs on the Wallaby. Once again, you can read about the Wallaby for free on piptoring.com. There is a copy of the Wallaby Trade book in PDF form, absolutely free. You could also buy it on Amazon.com. You don't need it, though, because it's free and because we're talking about it right now. Higher highs on price, lower highs on the oscillator, and that trade could have already entered, Robert. That would already have been an entry on this Euro-Yen pair with a target down here at the 800 period simple moving average, somewhere in the 106.79 area, and a stop loss just above those highs. This trade would also already have produced about 20 pips of profit, which is equal to the amount initially risked or even a little bit more than whatever you originally would have risked on that trade. There is no entry right now on the one minute chart. The reason for that is that the currency pair has now moved so close to the 800 period simple moving average that any entry that we could take would not have enough profit available to justify the trade. We need to see this on a short term basis, Rob, Robert, rise up higher and produce divergence again or at least go overbought on the regular stochastic. Robert says his actual name is Sean, so I'm now going to say Sean instead of Robert. Sean probably asked about the Euro Yen because Sean's probably already long or short on this currency pair and would probably like to see or hear a description of what I think about that currency pair right now. If you look at the Boscillator readings on the higher time frames, the 5 minutes at 399, the 15 minutes at 480, and the 60 minutes at 31. Let's just take a look right now at, for instance, the one hour chart. It's just rising above the 800 period simple moving average right now, Sean. It's just gone, it's, it's just 30 bars since it was last at the 800 period simple moving average. It's just now trying to get away from the 800 period simple moving average. On the 15 minute chart, it's been about 470, so it's a little bit longer. But in any case, we're not in prime trend trade or prime counter trend trade status on the boss later for any time frame except for the one minute. Every other time frame is in the middle or waiting. The prime trend trade time on the 15 minute chart came at 200 bars. And the prime trend trade time on the one hour chart hasn't occurred yet. We need to get 200 candles on a boss later reading, and we're only at 29. So we don't really have a prime reading on it here. My guess, Robert, is, Sean, Robert, Sean, Robert, is that the boss later is telling us that the one minute chart's going to do a, a little bit of a pullback here. And the 15 minute chart is probably going to continue upward in its trend after that pullback. But the pullback could be as severe as getting all the way down to the weekly pivot, maybe 105.80. That's a weekly pivot there. Or as low as the 15 minute 800 at 104.50, 104.18. So we could see a pullback. But Right now, it's, it's really the middle of a trend on the 15 minute chart. We're really smack dab in the middle of things. On the 30 minute chart, we're looking at a boss later reading of 200, which is prime trend time. So here's another view for you, Sean. A pullback on the one minute chart that carry us, carries us down to 106, 105.80, somewhere in that range. And then a continuation of the Euro Yen trend upward. Right now, it's overbought on the 30 minute chart. That doesn't really mean that it's going to pull back, but wouldn't that be a perfect opportunity right now for this currency pair to pull back on the 30 minute chart and get ready for a trend trade? That would be, if you are a trend trader on the Euro Yen, that's our, that's our opportunity. Let's take another look at the Euro Yen from the 30 minute chart on a trifecta status. Let's go from the low near where the currency pair was the last time it was at the 800 and draw a Fib retracement to the high. We'll get rid of the pivots here on our screen so we're not interrupting ourselves with that. And we'll get rid of the Wallaby 
on our screen here as well. So we're not getting that in the way. Okay. So what we might look at here for a trend trader on this currency pair right now is a pullback down to 106.29. So we're still, no matter how you slice it, whether you look at the one minute chart and you're looking counter trend on this, or 30 minute on a trifecta to buy it, you're still looking for a pullback down into the low 106s, 106.30 at least. And the, and the one minute euro yen is telling us that we need a pullback downward. And a trend trader on the 30 minute chart would wait for such a pullback in order to take the trade. So we could look at a pullback down to 106.29 and below, and then a move back up above that 106.29 for a buy trade with the trend on this euro yen currency pair. The yen seems to be weakening right now. It's, like it's a new, it's a dawn of a new day for the yen. It seems like maybe the route is over, and there's been a change of sentiment, and we've got a resurgent dollar against the yen and a resurgent euro against the yen and we're looking at a 30 minute chart here that says we could be at the at the at the breaking point here before we get a real breakout upward on the euro yen in particular looking at the boss leader reading on the 30 minute chart but we need a pullback first in the trifecta below 10629 and then a move back up above that level, or a pullback down below the 33 fib retracement at 105.82, or the 38 at 105.59, and then a move back above the 33 line. For information about the trifecta trade, remember you can check out the course materials on the Boss Later website under trifecta trade, under the trend trading methodology for the Boss Later. Greg says, would the fact that there is no closed trade on the one hour chart keep you from trying for more pips on the five minute chart? Yes. Victor says, how about the euro dollar if there is time? Victor, I'd be happy to look at the euro dollar. Let's take a look at the euro dollar right now on the boss letter. Thank you for suggesting we look at that. The one minute chart right off the bat is uninteresting to me because it's got a boss letter reading of 10. Until we get to 200 and start looking for trend trades, I won't be interested in that. And then the euro dollar on the five minute chart has a reading of 401, and the 15 minute has a reading of 478. Those are middle of the road boss later readings that say that the trend is probably not over yet, but it's too late to start entering in with that trend, most likely. Let's take a look at the 15 minute euro dollar trade for Victor. And we'll talk about it in the context of the trading methodology that we follow. You can see here that the trend has been quite powerful already. It's not necessarily over, but we're overbought on that 15 minute chart. We're over the number 200, and so our prime entry time on the trifecta trade would have already come and gone and be passed. What would it have looked like if we had done that? All right, I'll create a smaller chart here. Look at the low point when it was last at the 800, and move across here and get a reading. I'm going to try to find 200 candles on the crosshairs. All right, here we go 200 candles is about right here. Okay. To look at the euro dollar on the trifecta trade, and we'll, we'll continue our discussion uh, on the current chart in just a moment, but if we go back in time and we say, all right, here was the point at which we were at 200. We were at a reading of 200 right at about this point. The currency pair dropped back and pulled back to the 33 retracement and jumped up above the 23 all over again in this area here. And Victor, this would have been prime trend trading time for the boss later with an initial profit target of the zero line and a secondary profit target of the negative 21 and then a last profit target of the negative 50 line which all have been hit as of right now. 
and the initial the, the trifecta trade is really over and that's why I say that 200 is really the point where we start looking at it let me review that again we would look at the point at which the currency pair had been away from the 800 for 200 candles and draw a fib retracement from the lowest point reached in the midst of the trade the trend so far upward to the highest point so far and we simply measure the low point near the 800 and the high point reached in the time that it took to reach 200 candles on the boss later and then we look for the pullback down below the 23 and then we traded a buy trade when it popped back above the 23 and then you could see here that that trend trade was successful not everybody here took it maybe nobody took it but that's what the trifecta would have looked like that's the optimal trend trade on the euro that existed previously now if you didn't get in on that trade and you're wondering well I'm long the euro what would I do my answer would be right now the trifecta trade has done something extraordinary it's reached the negative 50 final profit target mark and I would I would be looking to exit my trend trade right now and wait for a pullback in the trend and if I were a trend trader the euro dollar on the 15 minute chart would not be my preferred time frame because we're already almost reaching a reading of 500 on the boss later and so my trend trade and 10a would be you know sort of weakening and I'd be less interested the five minutes the same deal the five minutes kind of getting close to 500 so we're reaching a point where we're not as interested and the 60 minute charts only at a reading of 23 I'd expect a lot of bouncing up and down on the euro dollar right now a lot because we've reached a trifecta profit target on the 15 minute chart we've almost reached 500 on the five minute chart and the one minute and the 60 minute chart are right at the 800 right now and we will likely see a lot of bouncing around on this currency pair on these time frames back down here back up again back down here back up again before we really launch into the next trend of course I could be wrong about that and I'd be happy to be wrong I don't really care but I'm not going to be taking any trades on these pairs and if I were long I'd be getting out of my long trades now for sure what's the tool I was using there I was using the fib tool on MetaTrader in combination with the crosshairs tool to measure the number of candles. I clicked on the crosshair tool and I just dragged it across and you could see little numbers next to your crosshairs tool that would show me where I was. Greg says, if the 400 reading is the middle of the road, would you look at a higher time frame to get a bigger picture of trend strength? No, Greg, I would just, um, that's a great question, Greg, and I'm going to answer that now and then I'm going to answer it later in a much more complete form. Greg, if I've decided that the five minute chart is my speciality, and that's what I like to focus on on a currency pair, and I've got a reading of 400, then I'm just going to ignore it for right now. I'm going to wait till we get to 750, and then I'm going to counter trend trade it. But everything else is turned off. You could hop around to other time frame charts, and you could find a trade on a different time frame chart for a currency pair you really liked. But generally speaking, and I think Scott would back me up on this, I'm going to pick a couple of different time frames that I like on a currency pair, stick to those, and if I don't see a reading that gives me a trade on either of those two time frames, then I'm just going to stand back and not do anything at all. Your question, though, was a little bit deeper. Your question was, if the reading is the middle of the road, could I look at a higher time frame chart to get a bigger picture of trend strength? And the answer is, that's making a lot of assumptions. It's assuming that there is trend strength or there is a trend at all. So I would say, Greg, the question would really be, could I look at a, a different time frame chart to find a trade? And that the answer to that is yes. However, if it's outside the time frames you usually trade, that can become a little bit tricky. And let me know if I did or did not answer your question in an acceptable manner. Scott's here, and I'm going to make him an organizer and see if we can turn on his microphone and get him here as well. Excited to have you here, Scott. Let me know if you hear me. Can you hear me now? Yes. Nice to have you here. Uh -huh. yes. 
Excellent. Thanks for being here, Scott. I really appreciate it. It's good to have you here. Do you have any additional comments, Scott, about the, uh, the Australian dollar or the euro or the euro yen or anything that you've heard so far? There's, there have been a couple of questions in the chat room. Greg says, if I trade the one hour, would I go to the 15 minute and see if it has broken some trend lines for a heads up on a possible trade on the one hour? My answer is no. I generally plan my trades and take my trades from the same time frame chart. Victor says, do all the currency pairs shown on the web have reasonable broker spreads? Yeah, they do. The highest spread of all of them is probably the Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar, but some individuals even have a five or six pip spread on that pair or even lower. Tony says, on the euro dollar example, if your 23 fib level trade got stopped out but subsequently entered on the 38 fib level, would you enter right back in? Yes. Tony asks a good question. On that trifecta trade that we looked at a little bit earlier, if I were to enter in the 23 break and then get stopped out, could I enter again? And the answer is yes. A trifecta trade, when it stops out, can lead to a successful subsequent trifecta trade. However, when a trifecta trade profits, it typically is the last trade that you're going to get on that time frame chart until the next time around. Happy to have your additional questions and happy to hear from you. I have a lot of updates for everyone about a bunch of questions that are on your mind. Let's see if we can get another question from first name, last name. Rob, if I load a lot of indicators on MT4, it slows them down to a halt. Does this happen with paid charts? What a great question. Uh, MetaTrader is historically known for slowing down when we add a bunch of indicators, and there's almost nothing you can do except for buy a higher powered computer. I know that sounds like a terrible idea and a terrible solution. That's not necessarily true with TradeStation. TradeStation seemed to run fairly smoothly for me no matter how many indicators I loaded onto TradeStation, but everyone's experience is going to be different depending on the type of computer that you have. MetaTrader is known for slowing down with a lot of charts open and with a lot of uh, indicators on the charts. And so I tend to only keep open five or six charts with just a few indicators each, and that seems to keep my whole experience more positive. And because I'm only trading a couple of different currency pairs at any given time, it really doesn't seem to matter, and I don't seem to miss out on anything. I, I seem to be just fine. Uh, using that methodology. I typically look at two different time frames like the one minute and the five minute and just a couple of different currency pairs. And my process is I'll move to the radar screen on the web, I'll see what I'll sort the radar screen by the highest values on the lowest time frame, the one minute and the five minute, and then I'll see what's working here and I'll say, oh wow, you know what? The one minute and the five minute are overextended here on the Australian dollar, US dollar. Let's see if either one of those charts can provide me with a trade. And then I'll stick to that currency pair and perhaps only one additional currency pair. Someone asks, does the same thing happen on FXCM charts? I can't get the 800 period simple moving average to show up. If you're using the market scope charts provided in the FXCM platform, it is possible that the 800 period simple moving average is not plottable. And that's why we use MetaTrader. It's unfortunately the case that not all charting programs are built equally. And not all charting programs can show the indicators that you need. And that's just a simple fact of, of life and trading. If your MetaTrader charts are not showing the 800 period simple moving average, then what you need to do is scroll backwards on your charts, uncheck this green arrow at the top of your screen, and scroll backwards on your charts and keep scrolling backwards, keep scrolling backwards, and you will get more data loaded into your trading platform. There are other ways to do that. However, that's outside the scope of tonight's webinar, and I can do a lesson about that. For those of you tonight that are joining us in the webinar and your name appears as first name, last name inside the chat software or inside the webinar software, I kindly invite you to move to the upper left hand portion of your web browser and click on edit my profile and change your name from first name last name to your actual name that you prefer to be known by. Victor says can MT4 indicators be moved to TradeStation? When we speak about TradeStation Victor we're speaking about TradeStation securities 
which is a brokerage firm in Florida. And all of our indicators are available for the TradeStation platform. The TradeStation platform is not free and can only be used if you have an account with TradeStation. And that may not be interesting to you. But yes, all the indicators that we use, including the radar screen, are available for TradeStation. Darren says, do what Rob just explained on the FXCM charts and the 800 period will show up. Great, Darren. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. That's great news. So if you're using the FXCM market scope charts, if you scroll backwards in time, you should be able to see the 800 period simple moving average. The reason you can't see it is because you don't have 800 candles displayed on your screen. That's good news for everyone out there. I have a few updates for you that I think you'll find very interesting, and I'm not going to do them in any particular order, but I am going to try to be orderly about the way that I do it. So let's go to Google Docs so I can produce an agenda in written form. And here it is. I'm going to try to make the font size larger. Number one, boxes. If you're waiting for your box of Bosselator materials, it should be uh, on your doorstep within the next 14 days at the most. And for those of you that are still waiting, we appreciate your patience. It won't be much longer, and I'm excited for you to get the materials in the mail. Had some questions about that and want you to know that at the beginning. Number two, MT4 radar screen and an MT4 alert. E A. Two things that are really important coming your way. Number one, I'm working together with my friend Chris Davison in England to build a radar screen for MetaTrader that shows you the same information that you see on the screen in front of you on this radar screen here on the web, but can show it to you inside a window on MetaTrader. For those of you interested in running the radar screen from your MetaTrader account. Now that's coming reasonably soon. Number two, an MT4 alert that can send you a text message or an email when your boss leader reading reaches a certain level is ready. And I will post that on the boss leader course tomorrow in a special blog post with a little video that explains how to upload that into MetaTrader and how to run it. This means you can leave MetaTrader running and have an email alert or a text message alert sent to your phone, depending on your settings in MetaTrader, that will tell you when the boss leader has reached a reading of whatever number you choose on any currency pair and any time frame that you load the indicator on. I'm sure that you are excited about that. The radar screen for MetaTrader will not be free. It's not mine. It won't be mine to, to give away for free. But it won't be expensive either. And it will have been tested and will come with some instructions and all of those types of things. The expert advisor that will send you an alert is absolutely free and carries no cost to you whatsoever. All right. Other announcements include Bosselator webinar series. Plus, in November, I have begun the process of scheduling a three-part webinar series to reteach you from the ground up the entire Bosselator webinar, the, the whole Bosselator program. We've already done this before, and the webinars are archived, but I'm doing it again, meaning I'm going to do a live series of instruction for the types of trades that the Bosselator produces. I'll go through step by step on setting up your charts, how to read the indicator, the trend trading methods, and the counter trend trading methods. We'll go through live. These, these webinars are in addition to the two per month webinars that you already receive as part of the course. This Bosselator webinar series does not cost you anything. Every webinar will be recorded and we will upload those recordings to the web. As a side note, I will allow new registrations for this webinar series. In fact, Steve Nissen, 
the candlestick guru will be inviting his entire database of traders to participate in this webinar series. But the, the, the catch is the price is going up and for those of you that signed up already for the Boss Later webinar series, you got a significant discount on the webinar series and the course and the website and uh, the individuals who register for the course in the future will be paying in most cases two or three times what you did to register for the course and I just want to state that you are the inaugural members you've been very patient uh, as we've moved the course from one website to another and put the boxes together for you and I just want to say thank you and the course will never be as affordable as it was when you signed up and we are glad that you are here but that's not all. I just want to see what you have to say, but that's not all. A radar screen as an app on a smartphone, John asks, will that be available? John, within the next two days, there will be a specific web page on the Boss Letter website that will only show the radar screen, which is a browser link that you should save to your home screen on your Android phone or your iPhone and it will show you just the radar screen and it will function exactly like an app and uh, that will be up in the next two days and I will do a blog post about that as well Tony asks about the MT4 expert advisor will it allow for trades huh that's an excellent question and we are able to authorize this expert advisor to take trades as well in addition to providing an alert Tony that is possible for it to do that as well but there are more advanced versions of that coming down the pike over time but it is possible that it can produce a trade when it produces the alert yes that is possible alright I've told you that the boxes are on their way the radar screen for MetaTrader is in the process of being produced. An expert advisor is ready to alert you at your email address or text message you when a boss letter reading reaches a certain level. I've told you that the boss letter webinar series, in addition to the webinars you're already a part of, is coming soon. But I've got something even more than that, even bigger than that, and, and perhaps even more important than that. But before I even announce that, I'm going to tell you live chat is coming. This week, I will live chat with you on Tuesday and Thursday. I'm, I'm there most days, but I'm going to be there specifically at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on Tuesday and Thursday of this week. That's the 18th and the 20th of October at 9 a.m. Pacific Time. You can come to the Boss Later course page. You can chat with me and ask questions and we can talk about trades that you're taking or trades that you have taken. Remember the forum's always there, but I'll do a live chat this Tuesday and Thursday at 9 a.m. The week after, live chat will be at, I think it's 6 p.m. Pacific time, but don't quote me on that. I'll send an email out about it. For those of you that are in a different time zone or a different part of the world, we'll do the live chat at a different time of the day. Okay, That's not the most important thing, though. As you know, I am intensely interested in why people are not trading for a living already. For those of you that are here that are members of my personal trading group that I trade with on a regular basis, I call them pivoteers, you know that I've been obsessed with the question of how to prepare a trading methodology and how to get it up and running and how to know what to expect from your trading methodology. I am absolutely committed and possibly obsessed by the question when are you ready to trade and how do you produce a return on your investment I am in November going to teach an entire separate course called ready to trade with the ready to trade what I'll call formula which will include a completely new set of lessons new set of materials and you haven't you've never seen anything like it ever you've never ever ever seen anything like this it is a complete formula and system for testing authorizing for trading and forecasting your results and planning your business of trading 
and there isn't anything like it in there isn't anything like it in the world there nowhere even remotely this is a course that i will be probably exclusively offering it may be the only thing that i offer at all and it will cost between 759 to 999 dollars and i will probably offer that sometime in december but 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 I don't know where the strike through tool is, so I'm just going to delete that. It doesn't cost you anything. It's absolutely included with everything that you've signed up for. If you are a Boss Later course member or a Pivoteer, this ready to trade course and the website that accompanies it, the lessons, the videos, the slides, the project files, the testing methodology, the entire formula, the step by step process, the 30 to 60 day program is absolutely included and I'm not selling you anything because you're already here and so you already get it. I'm just telling you that when it does go on sale, you don't have to buy it. <laughs> it's not for you to buy. It's it's going to be included in what you receive. And so when you see that come across the screen or you get an email from me that announces it or gets all excited about it, you can absolutely ignore it because you'll already be inside that course. You will have already seen it and you will have access to it before anyone else. I'm not making crap up. I'm not telling you that this is... There are some people here who are pivoteers that have already seen a preview of what this is. And this is a formula, a methodology, and a process for approving a trading system for trading and forecasting your results on a quarterly basis and setting absolute rock-solid goals with consequences for your trading to help you get from where you are right now to where you want to be. And it is unlike anything else you have seen in any other corner of the web provided to any other retail traders anywhere. And I'm not selling it to you. I'm telling you that it's almost ready and it's been uh, 10 years in the making and there's no exaggeration there whatsoever. I'm finally ready to tell you that there, there's a way to plan this out and a way to get more professional about the trading that you do. Let's look at the live chat room. Okay. Uh, that's the information that I have for you this evening. The Australian dollar on the short-term charts is my favorite. The euro dollar on the, or the euro yen, whichever one we looked at a little bit earlier on the 30-minute chart looks pretty prime. The MT4 radar screen is coming in the next 30 days. An MT4 alert expert advisor is ready and will be posted on Tuesday. The Boss Later webinar series, the complete teaching of the Boss Later information from start to finish in a live webinar is coming in November. You will receive an email about that next week. You have paid the lowest price that will ever be offered and you don't have to ever feel like it's going to be offered at a price lower than what you paid and so you got screwed. <laughs> You're not, that's not going to happen to you. We're going to do a live chat this week on Tuesday and Thursday and then next week on Tuesday and Thursday at a different time zone. And then the ready to trade formula and course will be ready for you in November and will follow the boss later course and will carry with it its own website, its own lessons, its own project files, its own goal files, its own spreadsheets for listing out your projections on, on your trading, its own process for testing a trading methodology and authorizing it for trading. And all of that will come in November. Let's see what kind of questions come up. All right, Scott, uh, what would you like to add to this scintillating one-way conversation? Scott mentions keep posting in the forum. The forum posts are better than ever. If you are having success with the boss later, even in a limited basis, and you would like to feature a trade that you took on the blog, I would love to hear from you. You can email me at the regular old rob at robbooker.com email address or post a message in the forum to let me know. Second of all, if you've had a terrible boss later trade, maybe the crappiest trade ever taken by any trader anywhere. I will actually pay you, I'm not going to make you rich off of it or anything, but I will pay you to post a chart and an explanation about why it was the worst trade you ever took with documentation about it so that others can learn from your mistake. I will pay you for that post and I will feature it on the blog. And if you 
are interested in sharing with others, you can also you can contact me at the regular email address, rob at robbooker.com, or you can post a message in the forum and let me know that you're interested in doing that. And we would love to help others trade better from learning from you. That's important. The live chat may have some ridiculously awesome questions. Has the webinar from 10.9 been posted yet? Yeah, I think it has. And Tony, I need to let you know where that is. So in the next 24 hours, I'll let you know that. John says, what does your personal trading time look like? What hours do I prefer to trade? Well, let's cap off this webinar. And let me tell you what my schedule is like and what I like to do. Here's what I like to do. As a boss later trader, when I look at the boss later, if I were going to schedule my life around trading the boss later, I would pick a schedule. It could be any schedule whatsoever. It could be 7 a.m. to 3 p.m., for example. It doesn't matter what time zone you live in or what part of the world you're in. And then that's my job. The Ready to Trade webinar series will dive into this question specifically and intensely. However, you pick a schedule and that's your job. It could be five hours, four hours, three hours, two hours, seven hours, 12 hours, it doesn't matter. You pick your schedule and then you stick to it. It's like a real job, you go to work. During that schedule, John, I do my testing and I do my live trading. The testing that I do is meant to either authorize a system for trading, we'll talk about this in the Ready to Trade webinar series, or meant to practice a trading method that I know I ought to be focused on, and help me do better at it. Once I pick that schedule, I don't alter it very often. So I got to pick something that I know I can keep on a certain number of days every week. I pick the time frames that I like the best, and I pick the charts or the currency pairs that I like the best or the other financial instruments that I've decided to trade. And then I go to work every day. It doesn't really matter, John, if I keep a schedule of 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. What matters is if I pick that schedule, that I stick to it, and that I go to work every day. Now there's a whole lot more I want to talk about when we get to the Ready to Trade webinar series, and that's just coming up in two and a half, three short weeks. So it's not far off, and you'll see previews of it inside the website as it is built. Thanks, John, for your question. Meng says, hey, Rob, maybe you could just have a section called Failed Bad Silly Trades in the Forum. Yes, 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 we could have that. And the best ones I do want to feature on the blog and help people around the world learn from our mistakes. As you know, I'm typically quite open about the mistakes that I make as well. My favorite currency pairs right now are any currency pairs on the one minute or the five minute chart that produce an exceptional boss leader reading. Traditionally, I really like the Australian dollar, US dollar. I like the dollar CAD now and then. The Euro dollar is a good standard currency pair to watch as well. Scott, what are your favorite currency pairs? A lot of people ask what your five favorite currency pairs are, and we often forget what those are. It's good to know the Euro dollar is still number one. The Euro dollar has not been overtraded around the world, and it's still something that you might profit from. Folks, We've got a big week ahead of us. We've got live chatting, an alert EA, boxes to send out, a new Boss Leader webinar series for which you will receive an email, the Ready to Trade Formula webinar series coming in November, which is included with your materials and will be accessible by mid-November at the latest. Keep posting in the forum. Let us know about the trades that you're taking or that you're thinking about taking. I'm happy that you're here. Scott, I appreciate your time. Thanks for being here. Absolutely. It's fun.